All right, so in this video, we're going to create a rubric uh, for, normally this is if you have assignments, um, assignment type things, it allows you to create a rubric. So you'll want to go into your assignment and you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and it will have this plus rubric. So I'm gonna click on that. And you can find other, yeah, here it is. So you can click here and find other rubrics or rubrics that you've created before. But we're gonna create one from scratch. So this one is going to be just I like to be more specific. I think if you have like essays, um, then you can use the same rubric because you're looking for very similar things for everything. Uh, in projects like this, I have very different things per project. So um, I'm gonna create my first kind of criteria. So in this case, and this is what, this is what they're going to kind of make is a digital poster. So the first thing I'm going to go with is a title. So they have to have a title. So uh, this is going to be, I'm going to change this to title. All right, so that's my basic thing that is important to me is this, make it large so it looks like the title. You don't want some little itty bitty thing, right? So uh, really in this description, you probably don't need to go that much into detail because what you're going to do is really is you're going to do that in your marks here. So I'm going to say that I'm gonna give 10 points and so you can change this to anything you can be like this is gives you such and such points um and, and you can change the rating title so you can put 10 points you can put um you can put great or you can put good or something like that or you could put complete incomplete it really um you know, it is I, I do like one that I saw in a professional development thing. Mm -hmm. And that one was so complete with distinction. Mm -hmm. I did I did like that. Mm -hmm. Or I could also do like I could shorten it, I could do C D and then do Well, let's let's just actually, you know what? I'm going to add that into the other description. So I'm just going to put complete with distinction here. And I'm going to add another one in the middle. That's just like, OK, this is complete. So this is just going to be C. So this is just going to say a complete. And then we're going to have, um, so like I and put incomplete. 
So this is like, all right, so there we go. I might change, mm, I'm gonna change this and make it actually a little bit higher. So I'm gonna make this like seven. So this is just, you went the extra mile. So in here I might add, <laughs> sometimes I cannot come up with the words all right so maybe like that and these should normally I can adjust these I don't know why it's being lets me shift them hmm. all right then I add my next thing and so I would click plus criterion and I would you can duplicate it so let's say if you're doing it by like, okay, paragraph one, and this is what it needs to have. Let's say you want it to be the same, but you just want to maybe change paragraph two, or there's just a couple things you want to change. So, and then you would just click like title. I'm gonna create a new one. I want it to do, let's see. Right. I'm going to do, I think, five facts. The five facts is what I wanted. So, right here, I'm going to put, I'm just going to put facts. And just to make this video go a little bit faster, I am just going, I'll come back to this and make it more detailed. Um, this is going to actually be probably my main thing here. So I would bump it up to 50. Uh, you'll see the total points change up here. Some of these it'll change. So let's say I do, mm, all right, let's say I do 25. No, oh, probably should put that in here. Let's say this is simply, let's just say, uh, I can add another one. If I want to be lower than 25, I would add plus between here. If I wanted to be higher, I would add plus here. So if I wanted it, and it kind of does give you a halfway through, but you can change this. So let's say like, I don't really like the idea of 38, so I might change it to like 40. And again, I'm not really putting too much effort into right now what these are labeled, but I will go back in later and make this the way I want it. Uh, if you want to add, then really you're just going in here to see um, if any of this applies to you. So if you want freeform comments, you can click that. And so here you would just have that. Then let's see. Uh, you could click this if you wanted to use it for all assignments. Um, you could hide score for a while and then show it later. Um, so you could hide it in here and then later on it, or you can uh, not have it added there and then put it, just type it in later. I like to keep it there so it does the math for me. And then you're just gonna click Create Rubric, and it's going to be attached to this assignment.